Good morning. Jesus tells the twelve one of them will betray him. We're looking today at Mark 14, verses 17 to 21. In the evening he came with the twelve. Now as they sat and ate, Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, one of you who eats with me will betray me. And they began to be sorrowful and say to him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? He answered and said to them, It is one of the twelve who dips with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goes just as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been good for that man if he had never been born. Soon we'll come to the place where the mob and the officials come for Jesus in the garden to take him by force. But this, is about, this isn't about the stumbling of the disciples when they all run and flee at that time. This is about the betrayal of Judas. And this was actually a, a testimony to Judas's heart. This was a, an appeal to his heart. Jesus is telling him, Judas, I know, I know that you're planning to betray me. And he knew it. Jesus says, one of you twelve, one of you twelve who is present will betray me. One of you who is going to eat with me. A meal is an intimate setting. And one of these twelve who is eating with Jesus will actually sell Jesus out. And he's telling them, I know. There is no magic uh, connection with Jesus, you know, that's been settled. And once you've made the decision, you're locked in and you can never leave him. There's no decision like that where God takes away your free will, becoming... A Christian does not mean giving away your free will. You always have the choice to back away, although please don't, and he would never have you do it. But he never takes away your free will, and that's the way it's going to be for an eternity. And so Judas has the opportunity to turn to him or to turn away, if he will. And that's really where we boil down always, isn't it? If we will. What will we do? Where is our heart? Who has our heart? Jesus doesn't take it away. Satan is the one that takes away our freedom. Satan is the one that uses force to overpower the will. And so we are encouraged to always use our freedom to follow Jesus. We're all encouraged to revisit our motivations and make absolutely sure that we are on Jesus' side. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, as we come to you, we are thinking of this solemn moment as Jesus is warning Judas and all of them that one of their close inner circle will betray him. Oh, Lord, what a sad moment. What a sad thing for things to come to. But it's a warning to us. It's a help to us, Lord, to know that we are always free and we need to draw close to you so that we do not take that crazy step of self-destruction. Please, Lord, draw us close to your heart. Thank you that we can walk with you day by day, hour by hour. I don't need overcoming for 10 minutes from now or 5 minutes from now or 10 years from now. I just need, I just need your spirit to walk with you just in this moment. And if I do that through my whole life, uh, I will be so blessed. Lord, thank you for those gifts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's my privilege to serve as pastor of the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist Churches. Uh, come up and see us sometime. It's usually very beautiful up here. And we'd love to have you stop in and worship with us. At the end of this video, you'll see uh, the worship times and the addresses for my churches. So let's all draw close to him and never betray him. God be with you today.